my description of gravity is different uh, from Einstein's theory or Newton's theory because I try to explain where gravity comes from. The physical problem I want to solve is uh, why does gravity in certain situations seem to behave differently than uh, Einstein uh, has told us. In particular in galaxies we find that there is more gravity than we can explain based on the matter that we see and uh, normally we explain this by adding dark matter but I can explain it by understanding better what gravity really is and I found a solution of this problem without assuming any dark matter particles. The explanation I give uh, in my paper on why there is in certain situation more gravity than we can predict from Einstein's theory is that when you understand where gravity comes from, you basically work out that at large scales gravity indeed deviates from uh, Einstein's theory. In the paper I explain the phenomena associated to dark matter by thinking about how gravity uh, comes about from a more microscopic uh, description and it has also something to do with how a matter appears from uh, the surrounding space and, and how dark energy is also present in there and there's some effect that the dark energy produces that makes the matter indeed uh, pull more towards each other and produces this excess gravity and uh, indeed it, it, it really comes from understanding more microscopically where gravity comes from. It's like uh, space has some atoms, those atoms you can think about as information that behaves quantum mechanically and uh, this is the origin of where gravity comes from, how the information is being influenced by the matter that's there and how it produces uh, effectively a force that we experience as gravity. The universe we live in is not empty. Uh, if we look at large scales we see evidence for uh, dark energy which gives space an uh, energy density and if you look at how matter influences this energy density the space starts behaving like an elastic material. It, it can be compressed, decompressed and it gives an additional force that we see indeed in galaxies and groups of galaxies and explains uh, why uh, we see this excess gravity in, in these situations without assuming any uh, dark matter particle. So my theory can be falsified if uh, someday we'll find uh, a particle, uh, an extra particle that explains precisely what's happening in galaxies and, and, and groups of galaxies. So if dark matter turns out to be a particle, my theory is wrong. But I also have a prediction in my, my uh, theory. There's some formula that describes how gravity should behave in these situations. And this can be tested with observations. And the more observations we have and the better tests we have, my theory indeed can be also uh, confirmed and I, of course I hope that this is uh, what's going to happen.